Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Supergirl Season 5, and also to do with some of the other DC TV shows, and when they are coming back, and, you know, some updates regarding their schedule. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so first things first, we got to talk about this full schedule and how everything is actually turning out. Well, it's actually not a full schedule anymore. It's a mid-season schedule. So January, we're going to see the return of all our shows. And that's going to be the likes of The Flash, Batwoman, and the new Superman and Lois show. And so something I missed out the other day, and I didn't see this article until just today, is that according to TV Line and their article, which is titled Returning CW Shows Despite Delay to 2021, aim to shoot full seasons so yeah that's what's happening so there's a quote from the cw president mark pedowitz and it goes like this we are planning our normal episodic counts as he told tv line and he said we have some shows that will have 22 or 20 episodes we'll have some shows at 13 which is the starting point for freshman series as tv line says and we plan to continue with that goal in mind and we'll see how the world progresses so yeah this is big news we all kind of expected that they were going to cut down the episode counts for all of the shows but mark pedowitz says the plan as of right now is they are planning to have their normal episodic counts where they would start filming and they would probably finish filming around April time or something like that. So I reckon they're going to have a very normal schedule for their filming. But then we won't see those episodes in October when they would normally premiere. But they will come, you know, later in January. So it's going to be about a three month delay or so for those episodes. But that means they have more time. I think, you know, once they can eventually go back, I would say at the end of the summer or sometime around then. It seems like they're going to return to filming and then... You know, maybe we'll see a trailer or something around the time when Comic Con's usually on, or maybe sometime in August, I would say, is a better bet. And it's just really surprising that they are going for those normal episodes. And say The Flash, which premieres in January 2021, that will continue, you know, through the summer, basically. So we're going to have the DC TV shows over the summer, and apparently, this is what I've heard, I could be wrong here, but apparently, they're going to finish filming, you know, normal time, and then return to filming their normal episodes for the next season straight away, you know, in July time, end of June, when they normally do. And they're going to fix their schedule for 2021 full. And they're going to have their normal episodes, say The Flash, and its next season is going to be happening pretty much right after maybe like a month gap between the end of the last season and the start of the new. So I think that's really interesting, guys. Correct me if I'm wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure I read that somewhere. But it's really great to see Mark is actually planning to have these shows to have 22 or 20. If I was theorizing about what shows is going to have what, I think Legends is going to have 13. I think Supergirl is very likely to only have 13 next season. However, they could make it 20 because I think they can definitely fit it in because Supergirl is going to be premiering at the mid-season, which has also been confirmed. We'll talk about that in a second. So I would say it's likely Supergirl will have 13 if they don't want to film for too long and they want to start their next season. However, you know, they can start filming around November time once Melissa's maternity leave is done and they can totally shoot for that April, May release date in the mid-season and they can definitely have 20 episodes. So I think there is a high possibility that Supergirl can have 20 episodes if Mark is saying this, but there's a possibility as well. It may just be 13. For The Flash, I would say 22 is probably what they're gonna be shooting for. I reckon Batwoman will be 22. Superman and Lois, I reckon that's probably going to be 13 and then it'll be up to 20 like they did with Batwoman this season. So Black Lightning, probably 13 as well. So we'll just have to wait and see. But anyway, so that's an update to how many episodes are going to be in our next seasons. Now let's move on to talk about what I just briefly mentioned. TV Line pretty much confirmed that Supergirl has been delayed till late spring slash, you know, start of summer. April, May time is when we are guessing because that's the normal mid-season around this time. And... It will basically be a year from now when we'll see Supergirl, but you'll see them starting to film around November time, December time, and they'll probably have a break, they come back, and then they just shoot throughout, like, the whole of spring. And we'll see the premiere at the end of spring. So, yeah, it's pretty much confirmed as of right now that Supergirl won't be delayed until the fall next year, which was definitely a worry. And I'm pretty confident to say that Supergirl will probably air 
at the mid-season around April, May time. So, you know, I think it's going to be totally fine. We're going to see them filming around the end of this year and then heading into next year, they'll continue filming. You'll have episodes of The Flash, Batwoman, Superman and Lois, Black Lightning, all of that happening whilst Supergirl is still filming and you know those shows will probably still be filming you know around that time as well if they have long episode counts like Mark Pedowitz is teasing but Supergirl will continue filming probably for a bit longer due to the circumstances of them not being able to film earlier than normal or at like a normal time to Melissa's maternity leave so I'm totally fine waiting till next spring for Supergirl because I know we'll be talking about all the other shows we'll be anticipating the return of Supergirl it's going to be a massive thing when that premiere happens and you know in the meantime we don't have to wait that much longer to see some stuff it'll be like november time when we'll first see our stuff we'll start getting some news for our other show but in reality you'll get supergirl content towards the end of the year you're not actually gonna have to wait till april may to sort of find out about what's happening and what's going to be going on this season However, you know, we will have to wait that long for the actual episodes though, so don't go anywhere because Supergirl videos are going absolutely nowhere. Okay, so let's move on to the next thing. This is regarding tonight's season finale. So this is again from TV Lionel. These articles will be in the link in the description below. And so this is what is said. Supergirl had only filmed some of its planned finale when production shut down, but rather than save that footage for next season, which we know won't air until spring 2021, the show found new ways to weave part of it into episode 19. So what this article talks about is how Batwoman and Supergirl, who are both having their finales tonight for their seasons, how they actually weave together a finale considering, you know, the circumstances as of right now. They couldn't get to that actual finished finale that they originally planned. So this is what was said in the article. They're going to use some of that footage, but they're writing a whole bunch of new stuff around that. That's what John Cryer said recently to People TV. We talked about that. We're not really going to analyze that because we've talked about that before. But some of that new stuff may simply be dialogue recorded remotely from quarantine actors' homes. Melissa Benoist told TV Line on April 30th, and this is a quote, I did some ADR in my closet just the other day, actually. I recorded lines over Skype with our sound mixer. As such, said crew member, got a sneak peek at all of my clothes in the hanging closet. Benoist chuckled. Okay, so the next bit goes, as Kyla Lee, who plays Alex, told TVGuide.com, and this is a quote, There was a lot of creativity that had to go into the editing and putting episode 19 together because I still had two full days of filming to do. Even so, the fans are getting definitely what will be a big cliffhanger, Lee said, and another quote, This one definitely leaves you going, Whoa, wait a minute what happened. There's some big stuff there, some of that new stuff that John Cryer talked about recently. Could be what this article was referring to as ADR, so that's automatic dialogue replacement, so maybe some of the changes is some of the dialogue, and maybe they need some scenes that are a bit more impactful and say some different stuff that leads on to the next scenes, because, you know, episode 19 was filmed as its own episode. At that time, they didn't know that this was going to be the finale. This is David Harewood's episode. Then they filmed nearly all of 20 and then they had to shut down like a few days before they ended filming so they've mixed it all together and maybe some of that is dialogue basically they're going to take out the best chunks and the most important chunks and put them all together and hopefully it makes for one great big finale we'll have to wait and see but anyway so what they also talked about was the fact that you know a lot of creativity had to go into making the episode because they had to find a way to put everything together because you know they didn't finish episode 20 but the most important thing that Kyla actually says in this interview is that she says definitely there will be a big cliffhanger so a cliffhanger is coming and this cliffhanger as I quote is definitely one that leaves you going, whoa, wait a minute, what happened? So this is going to be big. I don't know what that cliffhanger is going to be. It could be a teaser for next season, I'm presuming. Maybe it could be to do with the next villain. It could be to do with anything, honestly. But what makes me excited is they actually probably filmed this cliffhanger and it wasn't just a cliffhanger they put in like they did with The Flash this week and that was just like a normal scene that would have led to the next episode but I believe they filmed this actual cliffhanger for episode 20 and now they're properly using it. So I'm super excited just for that and also obviously the whole episode but anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching that's about it. 
Hopefully you liked the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new. Also remember the Supergirl finale is tonight, this is going to be the last episode in a long time so don't miss the video tomorrow. And yeah, so thank you guys for watching, I'll catch you guys later, goodbye. I see red.